Once you log into the Sector Engage portal, you'll see a screen that looks very similar to the one here. Uh, there's a menu bar on the left hand side, which you can use to navigate around uh, the portal. In the top right hand corner, uh, this bell may, be, uh, may have a badge icon over it from time to time, um, in which case uh, you've received a message or a notification um, about um, some various aspect of the software, such as uh, work being, uh, student work being marked or a direct message being sent to you. Um, this will also appear as a badge icon on your mobile and tablet devices. On the left hand side, we have the assessments tab. We click on that. We're presented with a list of students attached to this account. Um, if you only have one child, you'll proceed immediately to the next screen, which is a list of all of the different subjects um, that your child studies. If I click into one of those subject areas, I can see all of the different um, assignments or tasks that have been uh, scheduled for this student to complete. Um, please don't, don't be alarmed if there's actually nothing here for you to view initially, as staff are still populating this area. In this instance, I can see that a task sheet has been attached. I can uh, click on that and that will very simply just open up that task sheet uh, for me to view. And when I'm done, I can just close that. Again, if you're working in an app situation, it will open up in the app and there's a back button. You can see all the various due dates. As work is released from time to time, I can uh, see it here. I can click on it to receive more information, including comments that have been made by staff. If the teacher has uh, chosen to set up the assignment um, as a submission assignment, you can view the submissions that students have made of their electronic work, um, as well as a student reflection. Staff may enter a summative grade from time to time, uh, but this won't show up immediately. It's actually something that staff have to do manually. And if I click back, I can click the back button to go back to the uh, main menu. Courses contains the term overviews for primary students and the curriculum assessment plans for secondary students. Again, if I click into one of those, um, then I can see the curriculum and assessment plan for a secondary class. Term overviews for primary look very similar to this. Um, initially, you won't see any information populated in the uh, lesson by lesson box, but this is an area that we may explore uh, moving into the future. Staff, if they choose, if I pick another course, may actually um, populate this area with uh, downloads for students. If we go back again and back again again, uh, we've got the dashboard. The dashboard contains lots of helpful information, including past uh, pastoral notifications, um, as well as uh, homework and unresolved absences. We ask that you help us to resolve these unresolved absences uh, and that includes uh, late without note codes, so where students have been marked late to school uh, but there was no reason given. Um, for primary students we ask that you make contact with your class teacher and for secondary students we ask that you make contact with your mentor group teacher in order to resolve these. Again, there's an overview of um, all of these uh, different areas, homework, pastoral care notes, timetables, and there's also a task list which links to this other box up here, which is homework. So staff may enter homework on here in, uh, through the portal, um, which both uh, you as parents, but also your children also see through their login portal as well. Um, it is possible for you to click on the link and then it will actually add the item at the bottom of your task list. Um, you can actually uh, delete it or uh, mark it as complete um, as the tasks have been completed. Direct messaging is an internal messaging system. If you have a um, mobile or um, tablet device uh, linked in uh, to the portal via an app, you will receive a push notification as messages are sent to you. Very simply just click on the message, you can read the message, open any attachments. 
At the top of the screen here, you have the ability to then reply to that message and it opens up a familiar screen which contains the subject, an area for you to type, add any files. You can also select staff members um, from this list in order to send them a list and then very simply uh, at the top click the send button to send that off. You can view your sent items or trash items as well. Documents contains uh, school policies and procedures uh, and this will be updated from time to time. Notices uh, links into the student notices. This is particularly relevant for secondary students so you as parents and caregivers can keep track of the notices. We may include portal pages here from time to time. Um, initially we've just set up primary and secondary learning conversation links. So if I click on this one, it will take me through to the uh, primary learning conversations portal, similarly for the secondary. Clicking the back button again. Reports, all of the academic reports, NAPLAN reports, and other information that was available in iSCOLARIS before has been migrated over to Sector. And so here's an example of a semester one report, for example. I can click on that and very simply my uh, child's report opens up on screen. Going back again, uh, there's the ability for me to uh, set a new password, to connect to a mobile app, and also I can customise my uh, menu background if I want as well. The last tab, timetable, allows you to view the timetable for each of your children. So at the top here, I have the ability to change between children. This particular student is a secondary student, so much as you would expect, it shows all of the different lesson times. Please be aware, however, for the primary students, however, that uh, the subjects that are shown on any given day are not necessarily reflective of what actually will happen on that day. I have the ability to click and receive more information about that lesson. So I can see that um, various um, assignments are due in a particular lesson. For each of the um, subject areas, I have the ability to actually color that particular class. So it highlights on the timetable. I have the ability to direct message the teacher just by clicking the icon. Again, type my message and click send. I also have the ability to email the teacher as well, and that will open up my email client. Additionally, if I go back to a previous week, I can use the arrows to move back and forward, or alternatively, I can use the calendar at the top. If I select uh, one of the lessons, you'll notice that this particular lesson has a, an attendance code next to it. So clicking very quickly through, I can get an idea of what's actually happened. So this is one of those unresolved absences that I need to resolve. Once I'm done, I can click the logout bottom button at the bottom of the screen and that will take me back uh, to the login screen. So that's it. Very simple and a very accessible portal um, and we hope you enjoy it.